Guys, welcome to my health in which you guys are going to apply for the ECFMG verification certification, USMD, and all the things. And for APIC, this is for for attendees for the medical schools and universities where you can click and go for the verification. And secondly, on the other hand, there is the four applicants where you guys can be go and click, and it will be show you. you are verified or not you having an account or not for the applicant details okay you guys click and it will be open like it will take time and then it will be show you assess my intel you have to click on assess my intel where you can get your account after that because now on this the website is little bit slow but you guys can Go through and these are two options: have a My Intel account or need a My Intel account. For that, if you don't have a My Intel account, you have to click here because you did not create it yet. You came to create My Intel account, you have to click on Don't have a My Intel account. After that, you have to write your email address here that you was given. If you are ECFMG certified, you are done with the notary all the things, so you have to put your email here, the same email that. You gave for the notary, okay? So your own account will automatically make, and you will save you hundred dollars, okay? If you are new, you have to apply your new email here, and you will get a verification code on your Gmail. You have to put your verification code here that you receive on your Gmail or email, okay? After receiving, you have to write your verification code. So we will wait, okay? I Already done, and now I have to click on Wi-Fi code. Okay. After verifying code, it will show you like that email address is verified. Now you have to go and continue. When you guys continue, it will ask you to put your new password. You will make your own password, and you go further. When you go further, then give me give you terms and conditions. You have you click there and accept. A terms and conditions, like there's any terms and condition you have to accept because you have to apply for this FMG, okay? And there's a privacy notice you have to accept is here, and then you have to click on the next. After that, they will ask you about your residence in the country, all the address you have to put. After that, you will get this type of a page in which they welcome you and set you all the instructions and. In that instruction, if you okay, there is a seven certification. After all the things, your account is established. Now you have to go for a seven certification. For that, you have to go to services on services. The first option is a seven G certification. You have to click in this page. Uh, you will get all the information over the ECFMG certification. Why it is very important. How you going to apply for US Assembly and apart all the thing. After you have to click on the second point application for E seven certification. Here you will get your application status like that. I did not start it yet, so it is showing here. And then you will be move further down, and there is the one options that it begins. And then when you begin, they will review for profile information that automatically the E seven M keys are transferred to my tag. There's no need to fail you. Here will be your last name in the rest of name. First name is you have a suffix or gender, male, female, any other, and then you have to put date of birth and your citizenship upon entering the medical school. And if you are unable to click your information like country, state, all the things, so further you can having more options. Like you can again go to my profile, and after clicking on my profile. You will get this part. On this part, you can fill your country in the end country you are resident. You are living there. Like if you are a foreign medical graduate, you have to write your country. Like if you are in a China, so you have to write. If you are from India, but you are studying in a China, so you have to write the country, the China, your city, and your zip postal code, phone number, and phone time is the cell or home number and your email address. Okay, and It will be filled automatically there, 
and then after that um, filling all the things in your country street all the things then you have to click on other options on your profile that is citizenship information in where you have to mention your birth country like you was studying in china but you are from india so you have to mention a india and like here your birth city and your birth street and citizenship at birth and now you in medical school did you change your citizenship or not and what is your current citizenship there is also some options of a different countries here you can click one country and move there is a one arrow and you have to move other side and it will be automatically filled then this passport country and number this is not opening nowadays on the mind curve so skip that part that is not important also they did not mention the rest are here and if you guys click on save it will i can will come like this it is happening goodly okay now you guys then with all the information now again come to your services if you guys again go to ecfmd certification the information that you put on your your profile automatically it will be came here okay now you will have to go and click on next when you click on next they will ask you about your medical school like if you are a student click on student if you are graduate click graduate then in degree medical school you have to write your medical school and different option will come and you click it is only happen when your medical school is registered from world directory okay if you have medical school no register from the ecfmg world directory of schools then it is not appear here and then for attendance start month when you start your degree okay like i start in my 2021 i will put a 2021 in a month and when it will going to end it in 2026 we have to put like 2026 number of years attended like i done my four years i am fourth year i'm a student then i will put fourth year and then this a school program it's going to mbbs and then graduation month which is expected date of graduation we have to put all the things like degree title they will be give you a doctor of the medicine of general medicine you have to click and then there will be a degree issue month and year and and in the last day is a student id like the student id and if you can the invitation number that given by your university you have to put here okay and secondly after filling all the things we have to review and further if you proceed yeah it is a little bit long time taking because you have to type all the things i'm filling my all the titles here now after filling you have to come and next okay now this page will come at the medical school attend uh, attendance like if you have other transfer student or you guys get a transfer from one medical school to another you have to mention the attendance uh, start month all the things if you are not then you have to go and skip the thing don't click anywhere this click on the next and now this is a ecfmg report if you want to get any information from the ecfmq guys can click on this box and it will be ticked and you will go for the next understand and then in the last day will be the application for the ecfmg certificate summary like all the information will become like your identity your contact information your medical medical school information and your ecfmg report are you are subscribe or not all the thing will be summarized here so review if there any mistake you can add it go back and add it again okay so after we are it is so okay and now we are now clicking on the next after clicking on the next they will be said about the attestation so i have to tick and i will come in next and then they will show you like the amount you have to pay you have to pay 560 dollar for the ecfmg certification application you have to click on proceed to the payment after that there will be billing address and payment info in which you have to write the name of the card that mentioned on the card then you have to write a name 
and the number of your card and you have also write the CV number and after that uh, for the billing address for the billing address you have to write the address where the bank is like if I am from India and I am doing my payment from the America so I have to write the billing address address of America okay not the India it is just like that after that if you guys proceed on the payment it will become like that thank you and your payment is received and when your payment is received it will give you some payment confirmation number like that is mentioned here and it will give amount of 560 then you will be click the next when you click the next then it will again this page will come and to find your application is submit you automatically the email will come two emails will come on your gmail that your application accepted and if you click on the application of ecfmg certification you guys see there is the application status submitted in review at ecfmg okay and then there's the one important thing don't go directly for the usmd application because now in my entire new rules you have to first do the certification of ecfmg you will be able to register for exam for application of ecfmg certification has been done okay thank you